the Herbert Hoover Huskies. I'll go over them real quick. We have number 14, who's not listed in the, excuse me, number 14 is not on the floor. We have number 40, John Marshall. 44, David Williams. 42, Joey Forbes. And number 12, Clayton Edens. And, right. uh, and for the Skyhawks. Wearing the white uniforms trimmed in black. Number 23, David Ward. Number 45, Justin Harmon. Number 30, Marshall Tully. Uh, and looks like number 20, Matthew Dolan. Number 14, Jesse Belcher. Will Schaefer will not be playing tonight. He's out with a sprained wrist. So we wish him the best of recovery times. Over the next whole week. Yeah, it's gonna so be, it's gonna take a while, Tony. Little, little roadblock for Kingery and his Skyhawks. And here we go. Opening tip off is going to be underway here. And, uh, it's going to go to number 22, Carter Coleman. Now in the hands of number 40, John Marshall. Good cut to the basket. Good pressure defense, Tony. Forced a turnover there. Marshall Tully. Now he gets over to Jesse Belcher. Now Tully finding the big man. Nice pump fake to get this defender off of him. And Harmon with the two and Tully with the Adon. And here we go back here on the other end. John Marshall is going to get fouled here. They're going to give it to Jesse Belcher. That'll be his first personal on the night. Team's first. First foul for either team tonight. 7.24 to go in the first quarter. 2 nothing. Scott up by two. Inbound pass goes into Marshall. Marshall crosses the half court line. Is over to the left. Is over to 44 Williams. Williams getting held up by Harmon. Harmon out extended the three point line. Defense in his face and forces a turnover. And Jesse Belcher, since Scott didn't win the tip, they're going to get it off the possession arrow there. Nice defense by Harmon smothering David Williams about three feet beyond the three-point line there, right there with Kingery in his ear the whole time. <laughs> I tell you what, if we'd have been in Huntington yesterday, Tony, that would have been a five-second call. That would have been. We saw so many yesterday. Here we go on the other end now. Tully in the corner brings it up top to Belcher. Belcher, right-hand side. Over to Dolan. He's open for three. It's no rim, no good. David Ward with the putback. Back rim, no good. Tully, though, with the hustle, keeping it alive with the third attempt. And for that, he will go. He'll draw the foul and keep it on the floor. They're going to give the foul to 42. Joey Forbes, his first personal, team's first. Forbes is going to fire a quick three. No good. Harmon, though, with the putback. No good. And the ball's still around. It's going to end up in the hands of Marshall. Marshall is going to push the ball up the floor on the left-hand side of the court. Going to go to the lane. Shoots it over to Dave Ward. No good. Harmon, the other twin tower for Scott coming down with the rebound. He'll get it over to Belcher. Belcher, right hand side. Try to get the entry pass into Dave Ward. No good. Pass when we go down the court to Carter Coleman. He'll go up with it and score. Two to two is now your score. Six ten and counting in the in the first quarter. Early in the game here, Tony. We see both teams, you know, capitalizing on turnovers. And Scott, um, believe it or not. He's had a couple quick shots on the offensive end. Here's another one. But he was wide open, Belcher is, but Ward with the putback as he was left unboxed. And you can't let a 6'6", 6'6", guy running around un- unboxed out and expect him not to get an offensive rebound there. No, absolutely not, Tony. 4-2 to two is now your score. Hit him with the charge. They're going to give that one to... That was Clayton Edens there on that charge. 538, 4 to 2. Scott still up by two in the early goings of this game right here. Belts are going to cross the half court line, as you can see on your screen, and go right here to the near side of Tully. Now in the corner to Ward. He'll fire a three. Back rim, no good. He's been shooting strong all night. All three back, all three shot attempts off the back end of the rim there. And now here on the other end, John Marshall fires a three and connects. Yeah, left him wide open on the on the side there, Tony. That's a good look for a shooter on that on that on being on the side of the basket like that. Now Belcher gives it over to left hand side. Over to Jesse Belcher. Belcher up top to Tully, left hand side to Ward. Ward over to Dolan, top of the key. 
Back up top of the belcher. We had one game with a shot clock yesterday. We did not cover it, but in that Rio Grande JV game against uh, Notre Dame Prep out of Maryland, there was a shot clock. The belcher back to this game connects on that one. Five to six to five, stopped by one. And Dave Ward, he's going to be fouled pretty hard there from behind. The 42 Joey Forbes as everybody rose up. They yeah. were waiting on him to rise yeah, up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Had we not already been standing up, Tony, we might have just stood up right there, too. <laughs> we, we like seeing them dunks, especially in high school games. Oh, we had so many yesterday during that Huntington prep game. It was nice to finally just get back to see a little little cramming action. That's <laughs> right, a little, little more basic fundamentals of uh, basketball. And Ward misses the first free throw. So, so far, a good foul there by Forbes. And around and around and around it goes. Seven to five. Kingery going to the bench for the first time. Number 33 checked in, Tony. Nevin Honeycutt's going to come in for Justin Harmon. Yep. Number 30 for the red team. Checks out for 42. Good denial by the Skyhawks, full court pressure. Going to get fouled a 30, Tully. His first. Team second. 4 16 to go in the first quarter, 7 5 is your score. Three pointer up and good. By John Marshall, and that's his second one. Eight to seven. Herbert Hoover with the first lead of the night at one, with 3:55 to go in the first quarter. Belts working over to the right hand side. Gives it over to Tully, and we have a 30 second timeout taken by King. He don't like the movement or lack of movement. <laughs> yeah. Here early, Tony, we've not seen either team get in a very good offensive rhythm. It's been running up down. Shooting quick shots, not a whole lot of you know offensive sets. But it's not. I mean, Scott's had open looks. It's just that Ward, uh, he's had three of them all hit back rim. They've all been online, you know, right where they need to be. Just game of inches, and uh, Scott's just not able to get that that lid off the bucket for the most part here in the first one. But yeah, like you said, uh, quick quick shot selections here by Scott, and that's normally not Kingery ball. He likes to. We need to invent a passing meter for the Scott Skyhawks <laughs> offense more he, times than not. Yeah, he enjoys when that ball gets around. You know, everybody touches at least once. And we've seen him get calm, too, you know, not not really be up in his players' grills on some shots that we thought were errant. I guess he sees them more than we do, knows who can hit what. Belcher fires up a missed three. 3.30 now to go in the first quarter as John Marsh is going to push the ball up the floor. They're going to give... We're going to give that one to Tully. I mean, he, lo- he, he rolled the guy. Eight to seven, serves four, 3.30 to go. In the first. Cody Brown going to come in, the sophomore for Scott here in a minute. I believe he's a freshman, ain't he, Tony? Uh, th- they have him listed... Oh. Yeah, as a freshman, okay. Even better for the Scott Skyhawks yeah. feature. Here we have a rebound here by the Skyhawks, and we'll go here to the other end. Tully's going to fire a three, misses it all, bounce off the head of Harmon. It's not what coach meant by using your head, Tony. <laughs> John Marshall, he's hit two, make it three. He's got nine. 11 to seven. Scott. Scott down by four now. And New Kingery ain't pleased with that defensive effort. Not getting the guy in that hand, you know, hand in his face. And he's stone face quiet over on the bench, and that's got to be worse than getting yelled at. 
They're yeah. waiting on it. <laughs> yeah, when he goes quiet, top's getting ready to blow off, Tony. Yeah. That or maybe just letting them play it out a little bit. Let them get in the rhythm of the game. I hope it doesn't get, you know, they can keep it within range or get the lead back on their own. But John Marshall is going to score again. He has 11. Good little backdoor cut. Caught everybody sleeping for the Skyhawks. Quick little layup. Coach Gandy over there for the Huskies getting fired up. Tully over to Ward. Ward over to Dolan, entry pass into Harmon, and that's what they need to keep doing. But Harmon couldn't finish there on that one, but Dolan and one with the putback. Yeah. Way to be active around the ball, Tony, after the shot, crash the boards. And he is our reigning WVSN player of the game, and he looked just like, made us not look like a fluke on that one time. He's a, he's a gifted player. He's only a sophomore, ladies and gentlemen, so he's got a bright future ahead of him. Scott minus their twin towers that are both seniors really do have a nice young core. They're going to be turning their whole backcourt next year. Front court, no backcourt. <laughs> yeah, that's a tricky term in basketball, and it's only front and then back. And yeah, I never got the difference. Thirty-five. You checked into the game for the Skyhawks and going to go to the free throw line. That's Nicholas Markham. Coach Gandy preaching to his players: Stay on your feet, play straight up. Oh, they're not gonna get. They're gonna pull it. Call it on the floor, Tony. Mm, thought he was shooting. Second foul though is going to go to thirty. Austin Brown off the bench. Poor Herbert Hoover. Minute twenty-three to go. Minute twenty-one to go. Now as turnover gives put the ball right back in the hands of the Huskies. Is the hot man of the hour, John Marshall, loses it almost out of bounds, and Belcher immediately tries to smother him. They get it over number 12, Clayton Edens. And over number 30, Brown. I think they're going to give the foul there to Markham. That'll be his first. Ward in and out, a little close to that time. Going to call Nicholas Markham with the traveling call there. At the displeasure of the locals. <laughs> Can you talk about his bench? Uh, the Markham kid has came in, Tony, and provided a little bit of fire for this white team. Dave Ward with a nice SWAT block party. Well, well I he- guess it's not a block party unless it's more than one, is it? <laughs> Just can't go with the solo rock block party. Unless you have a solo party, I don't know. You know, it's like having a birthday some... party by yourself. It ain't really a party. You know, <laughs> more of a celebration. <laughs> more of an observation. Ward just, just can't get just can't get it to fall through here. But he's still shooting. You know, that's what you want your shooters to do: shoot themselves out of the funk if possible. Yeah, I better watch Marshall standing over here again, wide open. Dave Ward, nice block again, and they didn't see the clock, and I didn't either, actually, as the clock ran out, 13-9 at the end of one, putting in with John Foster here on WVSportsNet.com. Your sports voice of the Valley. 